Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this shell stitch pattern. You can make this pattern as big or as small as you want and you can use it to crochet any size blanket or cushion cover. For my pattern I used a 4mm crochet hook and US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more crochet okay, videos. So the first thing that we want to do for our pattern is we want to do a slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice and then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger. You then want to take your crochet hook and go in through this loop and pull tight and that is a slip okay, knot. Okay so once you have your slip knot we are now going to work our foundation chain and you can make your foundation chain as long or as small as you want as long as it is a multiple of six. So you can chain 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, you can chain up to 60, 120, 180, however long you want as long as it is a multiple of 6. So if you're making a blanket you want to do a longer chain, so maybe up to 120 or 180, but if you're doing a cushion then you may want to make a smaller foundation chain, but as long as you chain a multiple of 6. So 1, 2, 3, Okay, so I've just got done doing my foundation chain and for the purpose of this video I have chained 42 but if you are going to be doing a blanket or a cushion cover then you will probably want to chain more than that as long as it is a multiple of 6. So once you have done your foundation chain we are now ready to move on to okay, row so 1. to begin row 1 the first thing that you want to do is chain 2. So I'm going to chain 1 then 2 and this is on top of my foundation chain and this creates our turning chain. So once you have chained two, you now want to work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here is the first chain from the hook and here is the second and into this stitch you want to work a single crochet. So to do a single crochet, you insert your hook through the stitch, that's the second stitch from the hook, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook and that is one single crochet. So once you have a single crochet you now want to skip the next two stitches so I'm going to skip this stitch and the next one and into the next one so the third one along from the one we just worked in I'm going to work five double crochets all into this stitch so skip two stitches and into this stitch work five double crochets. So to do a double crochet, you yarn over and go into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, then you yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two more. So that is one double crochet and I'm going to work five in total all into this stitch. So I'm going to do a second one And then a third. And then a fourth. And then a fifth. Five double crochets all in to this stitch. Like that. So once I have done that, I'm now going to skip the next two stitches. So I'm going to skip this stitch and the next one and into the next one, so the third one along from the one I just worked in, I'm going to work a single crochet into this stitch. So skip two stitches and into the next one along, work a single crochet into this stitch, like that. I'm then going to skip two more stitches, so skip this one and this one, and into the next one along, work five more double crochets all into this stitch. So I skipped two more stitches and now I'm working five double crochets into the next stitch, just like we just did. Right, 
Okay, and once you have done that, we are going to repeat this all the way along our chain for row one. So what you want to do is skip two stitches and then work a single crochet into the next stitch, then skip two more stitches and work five double crochets into the next, then skip two stitches and work a single crochet, then skip two more stitches and work five double crochets. So it's skip two stitches, single crochet, skip two stitches, five double crochets, skip two stitches, single crochet, skip two stitches, five double crochets. Just repeat it all the way along our chain for row one. So I've done five double crochets, so I'm now going to skip two stitches and work a single crochet into the next one, the third one along. Then I'm going to skip two more stitches and work five double crochets into the next. Like that and you can see here we are repeating our shells so I've just done five double crochets and I'm going to repeat that again so skip two stitches and then single crochet into the next then skip two more stitches and five double crochets into the next and no matter how long or how short your chain is you're going to repeat this all the way along skip two stitches single crochet skip two stitches five double crochets and just keep repeating it all the way okay, along. So I just completed that and worked all the way along my chain and I'm now coming to the end and I have three chains left and no matter how long or short your chain was at the beginning you should always have three chains left at the very end and finally the last thing that you want to do for row one is skip the next two stitches and then into the very last stitch work a single crochet into this stitch. But whilst we are working our single crochet, we are going to change colours to the colour of row two. So the first thing that you want to do is go into the stitch, just as you would with a normal single crochet, and pull up a loop as you would with a normal single crochet. But instead of completing our single crochet with this pink colour, so usually we would yarn over and pull through to complete our single crochet, we are going to complete our single crochet using our new colour. So the colour that I am using for row two is this navy blue. So what I'm going to do is take this colour and put it on my hook and then simply pull this colour through these two loops. So I've dropped my pink colour and I am pulling through the blue colour and then I can fasten off the pink colour, so the colour that I used for row one, I will simply cut my yarn, making sure to leave a tail that I can weave in later, and I will continue on using my navy blue colour. Okay, so I've just fastened off my pink colour, so this was the colour that I worked for row one in, and I am now using my blue colour, and I am ready to move on to okay, row so two. Okay, to begin row two, I'm going to chain three, one, two, and three, and I'm using my new colour here and I'm then going to turn my work and my chain three counts as a stitch my chain three counts as a double crochet so once I have my chain three the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to work two double crochets into the very first stitch so that is going to be into the last single crochet of last row I'm going to work two double crochets into this stitch and I will then have a chain three and two double crochets all coming out of this first stitch and that will count as three double crochets. So I'm going to yarn over and go into this first stitch here like that and I'm going to work one double crochet and I'm then going to work a second into the same stitch. So that is the last single crochet of last row. So once you've done that, this is what you should have. You then want to skip the next two stitches. So I'm going to skip this stitch and this stitch. And those are the first two double crochets of this shell here. So I'm going to skip the next two stitches and into the third stitch along. So this is the very center of the shell. I'm going to work a single crochet into the top of this stitch. So I'm going to go into this stitch, this is the third stitch of the shell, and into this stitch I'm going to work a single crochet. 
So I'm technically doing a single crochet into the top of the shell from last row. I'm then going to skip the next two stitches. These are the last two double crochets of the shell and move on to the single crochet. So here there is a single crochet in between these two shells. There we go. And into this single crochet, I am going to work five double crochets. And five double crochets is what makes a shell. So I'm technically going to be making a shell into this single crochet. So I'm going to skip these two stitches and go straight to the single crochet. And into this single crochet from last row, I'm going to work five double crochets. So I'm going to be working another shell into this single crochet. So five double crochets all into the single crochet. So there's three, four, like that. That's five double crochets. So once I've done that, I'm now going to skip the next two stitches. So that's the first two stitches of the next shell from last row. And into the next stitch, so the third double crochet of the shell, I'm going to work a single crochet into the top of this stitch. So a single crochet into the top of the shell, just like we did before. I'm then going to skip the next two double crochets here, the last two double crochets, and go straight to the single crochet of last row. So you can see in between the two shells, we have a single crochet. And into this single crochet, I'm going to work five double crochets again. So I'm going to work another shell into this single crochet. So five double crochets into the single crochet. So two, like that, five double crochets. And you want to continue repeating this all the way along into the top of each shell from last row. So into the top of the third double crochet of each shell, you are going to work a single crochet. And then in each single crochet from last row, you are going to work five double crochets. So you're going to be working a shell into the single crochet. So you're going to skip two stitches and work a single crochet, then skip two more stitches and work five double crochets, then skip two stitches and work a single crochet, skip two stitches, work five double crochets, skip two, single crochet, skip two, five double crochets. And you want to work that all the way along for row two. And you can see you are creating shells in between the shells of last row. That is what you want. So I'm going to skip the next two stitches and work a single crochet. Then skip the next two stitches and work five double crochets into the single crochet from last row. So there we go, that's five double crochets. I'm now going to skip two stitches and work a single crochet. And then skip two more and work five double crochets into the single crochet. And you want to repeat this all the way along for row two. It doesn't matter how long your chain is or how long your work is, just keep repeating this all the way along. Okay, so I just got done working that all the way along for row two. And I have worked my final single crochet into the top of the last shell. And to finish off this row, I'm going to skip the last two stitches and into the very last single crochet from last row here, I'm going to work three double crochets into this stitch. So I'm technically working half a shell. And if you remember, back at the beginning of row two, we did a chain three and two double crochets, which counted as three double crochets. So that was half a shell. And we are going to work another half a shell into this final single crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, skip two stitches, and then into the next stitch, which is a single crochet, work three double crochets. So there's one, there's two, and whilst I'm working my third one, 
I am actually going to change colours. So this is going to be using the same method that we changed from row 1 to 2. We're going to change colours. So I'm going to yarn over and go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. So go and do a double crochet, but do not complete it. So don't finish off the last step of the stitch. Instead, we are going to finish off the last step using our new colour. And I'm going back to the pink. I would recommend that that is what you do. So you sort of alternate between the pink and the blue or your two colours. So you want to take your colour, your new colour, and simply pull this through. So drop the colour that you were using and pull your new one through. You can then cut the yarn that you were using previously and we are ready to move on to row okay, three. Okay, so to begin row three, the first thing that you want to do is chain one and turn. And your chain one does not count as a stitch. So once you have chained one and turned, the next thing that you want to do is work a single crochet into the very first stitch. So here is the very last double crochet of last row, and this was the double crochet that we changed colours on as well. And into this stitch, we are going to work a single crochet, like that. And row three is very, very similar to row two. The only difference is that it starts different and ends different. And simply for row three, what you want to do is whenever you come to a single crochet, you want to work five double crochets into this stitch, just like last row. And then whenever you come to a shell, you want to work a single crochet into the top of the shell. So into the third double crochet along and just keep repeating that all the way along. You will be doing five double crochets into each single crochet and then a single crochet into the top of each shell. Then five double crochets into the single crochet, then a single crochet into the top of the shell. And just repeat that all the way along and I will show you what to do at the very end. So I've done a single crochet into the very first stitch and the way to look at it is that these three double crochets counted as half a shell. So technically this first stitch here is the third stitch of the shell. So this is the top of the shell and that is why you have worked a single crochet into it. So we are now going to go on to the single crochet and into this stitch you want to work five double crochets. So five double crochets into the single crochet from last row. So you are working a shell technically into the single crochet. like that. You are then going to work a single crochet into the third stitch of this shell. So skip the next two stitches and then work a single crochet into the top of the third stitch or into the top of the shell. Then move on to the single crochet and into the single crochet work five double crochets. So there's one and there's two. So like that, so five double crochets, you then want to work a single crochet into the top of the next shell and then work five double crochets into the next single crochet. So it's very similar to row two, well practically the same thing except for the beginning and the end. And you just want to repeat this all the way along for row three. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of row three. I have worked my final set of five double crochets into the single crochet. And I've now come to this set of three double crochets here. So this was the chain three and two double crochets that we did at the very beginning of row two. And this counts as half a shell. So what you want to do is skip the next two stitches and into the third stitch along, and this should be the very top of the chain three, you want to go into this stitch, so go into the top of the chain three and work a single crochet. But do not complete your single crochet as we are going to change colours. So take your new colour that you are going to be new using for your next row. So take your new colour and you want to pull this through. 
You can then fasten off the colour you were just using and we are ready to move on to the next row. Okay, so I've done row three and I have my new colour attached and I'm now ready to move on to the next row. And this pattern is very easy because the rest of this pattern is simply just to repeat rows two and three. So you simply want to repeat rows two and then three, then two again, then three again, then two again, then three again, and just keep going. You can go for however long you want. Obviously, if you did a longer chain, you may want to do more and more and more repeats of it, but you can do however many you want. And that is it for this pattern. Just keep repeating rows two and three. And remember to change colour at the end of each row. And that's how simple it is. So I've just done row three, so I'm going to begin repeating row two again. And to begin row two, the first thing that you want to do is chain three. Okay, so I've chained three, and you can go back on the video and just keep re-watching rows two and three again until you get the hang of it. But eventually you will find that you'll just know what to do because it's very easy. And something to remember is that row two always begins with a chain three, and row three always begins with a chain one. So to begin row two, always chain three, and to begin row three, always so chain, chain one. So three and turned, and this counts as a stitch, and I'm going to just do row two. So I'm going to work two double crochets into the very first stitch, and if you remember, the chain three and two double crochets counts as three double crochets and it's very easy because row two and row three are very nearly the same thing the only difference is the way that they ch begin and the way that they end is slightly different so you've chained three and then two double crochets you now want to work a single crochet into the top of the shell like that and then five double crochets into the single crochet and just repeat this all the way along. Single crochet, five double crochets. Single crochet, five double crochets. Just as we've been doing for row two and three. This row is just repeating row two, and then we're going to repeat row three, then row two again, then row three again. So now do a single crochet, then five more double crochets. So we're just repeating row two here. Okay, so I'm just about to finish repeating row two. I have done my final single crochet and into this very last stitch here, I'm going to work three final double crochets. So three final double crochets into the very last single crochet. So I'm working half a shell. And I'm not going to complete my last double crochet as I'm going to change colors and I'm changing colours to a cream. So I'm going to change colours and simply pull my new colour through. I can then fasten off and I can begin repeating row okay, three. Okay, so I've just finished repeating row two and now I'm going to repeat row three. I have my new colour attached and I'm going to begin row three by chaining one and turning. And my chain one does not count as a stitch. I'm then going to work a single crochet into the very first stitch. So this was the last stitch of last row, so the last double crochet. I'm then going to work five double crochets into the single crochet from last row. So five double crochets. There's one and two and three, four, like that, five double crochets, and then going to skip two stitches and work a single crochet into the third stitch of the shell. I'm then going to work five double crochets into the single crochet, and just continue to repeat this. Five double crochets, single crochet. Five double crochets, single crochet, and just keep going. I've done five double crochets and a single crochet. So I'm just repeating row three, and if you want more detailed instructions, then you can go back in the video and watch me go through row three a lot slower. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of row three. I've worked my final set of five double crochets, and I'm now going to work a final single crochet into the top of the turning chain. 
here. So that's the final single crochet, but I'm not going to complete it as I'm going to change colours. And I am changing colours back to this colour here, this purple. And that way I feel that the pattern comes out a lot more if you alternate colours like that. So I'm going to change colours. So just pull this new colour through to complete the single crochet and fasten off this white colour. So I just got done repeating row 2 and row 3 and I'm simply going to do this again. I'm going to now repeat row 2, then row 3 again, then row 2, then row 3 again. And I'm going to keep going and you can go on for as long as you want. And like I've said before, you can go back in the video and re-watch these two rows or I will also have written instructions on the screen in a second. Okay, so just continue repeating rows two and three for however many rows you want, and then that will be it with your blanket or your cushion cover. You could also add a border or an edging to this blanket to finish it so off. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos, and thank you very much for watching. Bye.